Hello Builders, I'm recording this the Friday actually because I'm pretty busy tomorrow on Saturday to actually give this week five update. So I'm gonna do it a day early. So um, technically not a complete week because you know you wanna go from week to week. Um, and generally, since I do work six days a week, um, generally it's, it's Saturday uh, where I get to do these retrospectives and then Monday I start working. Sunday I have off um, and so yeah um, kind of the review of this week sorry I was just off of hanging out with someone which I think did not go well I'm gonna take accountability on this one. but uh, we live and we learn we only get better am I right so moving on to the important things um, let's let's head over to the spreadsheet Alrighty, so looking at this week, again, no real big changes in terms of the actual metrics. Again, a lot of development work, so we're going to be at zero, zero for a while. Um, but kind of looking at things, so one of the interesting things is, I don't think I'm going to include it in this video, but I'll include it as like separate uh, individual clips. Um, and so when we look at it, right, draft stonks, a lot of it was around the setup of the quick drafts flow, which is then probably just going to be copied and reused, at least parts of it, um, with the, the league drafts. And so when different players, so sorry, quick drafts is you being able to play against AI, quick drafts in that format. So you're just trying something out, play it, shut it down, no big deal, right? League draft, you're going to bring up a bunch of people, it's going to be like actual... Uh, hopefully multiplayer and you're going to be able to like play around with it with other people um, so that's more involved it's going to be a future thing but the setup is going to be the same right it's just that one and something that I'm going to actually experiment with is actually adding in being able to add users into a quick draft I mean it kind of kind of the same thing as a league, but at least to test out the fact that you can add another user and then let them include it. Uh, but for right now, I'll probably just record a quick demo of actually going through the draft thing. Uh, oh, someone's calling me. They hung up, so never mind. Um, then uh, poke chops, poke work. Um, have started working on that. It has taken longer than I expected. Obviously combining two uh, or sorry, poke. Well, the there is the Excel. So like poke chops and poke work was supposed to be. Uh, I, I mean, actually, sorry. Poke work is supposed to be taking this Excel sheet with all of the different things that I'm tracking here. This right here, that's tracking all the podcasts, should be poke chops here because we're going to create a bunch of different podcasts be able to run it through kind of similar to software development, running it in uh, Kanban-like format, but also be able to chop up uh, the different podcasts and then be able to redistribute that on a schedule and be able to help someone control uh, their marketing team's podcasting process from ideation to uh, release. So. That's what poke chops is supposed to be. So it's supposed to cover this portion. If we use it in conjunction with PokeWorks, and funnily enough, like since it's all web based, you can set one URL to go to just a literal different website. So they can all work together, uh, which is nice. So um, in the future, I'm probably going to have to merge all the databases into one, which is going to be a mess. Already, Draft Stonks is a pretty involved. Uh, database so there's a lot of work to kind of unscrew that thing so I can't imagine adding all of these together I'm probably gonna need a professional uh, database admin to be able to arbitrate that um, so yeah um, very happy with that actually doing another tutorial um, so I was using Miro as a base for poke pitch it works to some extent, but I think that there was a different YouTube tutorial that I found that was to copy uh, Canva, or at least the design of it, right? Um, and so I think that that's probably going to be a better one to kind of suit Poke Pitch, 
right? And so uh, a designer tool um, might be a closer thing to a uh, pitch deck creator. So that's also on the docket. And Poker Founder University, I just, I'm just kind of being lazy with it and not actually creating the coursework and all that type of stuff. But there are other things that I'm going to be doing that I'm going to be announcing soon um, that might work in conjunction with Poke Founder University. So please stay tuned for that. Um, again, no KPIs, R&D costs about the, should be the same. I don't think anything I added. And P&L should be about the same. So again, you know, just burning 40 a month, which is fine. Um, so get out of here. Um, so yeah, so with these, right, poke finances, all the Excel stuff, so it should be able to record all of this information here. Poke work is, um, I guess, literally doing a Kanban board style thing and using Trello as a base, right, the can typical Kanban board, and then poke jobs is Kanban board, but oriented to marketing, and poke work is oriented towards uh, both this kind of automate the KPIs, but also, you know, development task tracking, because those two things are kind of go hand in hand in the early stage, right? A lot of times KPI is not, not applicable, so we actually should do that. I will fix this later for whatever, but nothing for this, this past week. And in fact, I missed a week, so it should be... Um, 11 through 16 so i missed that but oh why is it 10 it's 10 no 10 saturday oh it's 12 to 16 okay 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 so i, I will add that later um but again because i'm not really doing a lot of you know trying to get user count or or um watch list signups um wait list signups sorry I'm not really doing too much work on that. So that was the update this week. A lot of development work, a lot more uh, demos that are going to be put out, LinkedIn, YouTube, so on and so forth. So please give me a follow on LinkedIn, subscribe on YouTube. Um, and please, please remember, if me, this schmuck, can build, so can you. Go out there, build amazing products. We just need more people out there helping solve the world's problems. Thanks for watching.